Hi everybody, it's Ronnie with Whip and Chain. I work alongside Maggie and Lauren to bring you crochet tutorials. Today is our series of Texture Tuesdays. This is called the Crutch Stitch. It's absolutely beautiful. It's just a one row repeat, but you do need to pay attention of your stitch count because this is a project that can quickly get off course with your stitches if you don't watch it. But it's very textured. It has little thickness to it. It's the same on both sides. So let's just dive into it. I'm just using regular uh, Red Heart Super Saver, my, my go-to right now. Uh, favorite stripe, Red Heart. And I am using my clover hooks i'm using a six millimeter hook i'd like the six millimeter with the uh the acrylic number four yarn but you can use the hook that is recommended off your yarn and this does turn out beautiful even on the thicker yarns so totally your call okay so we need to make a chain all i need you to do with your chain is stop at an even number two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and then you can make to the length that you want now I cannot do the back loops on this project so I apologize so your first stitch is a slip stitch into the first the second I mean the second chain from the hook so I want you to slip stitch right into there okay and in the next stitch we should put a half double just like that the next stitch Put a slip stitch. The next stitch, half double. And slip stitch. It's just alternating those two stitches all the way down your chain. You will end with your last stitch being a slip stitch since you started with a slip stitch. And right there. Okay. Now we're going to turn our work. We're going to chain two. One and two. We're going to put a half double in that first stitch. I chain two did not count as a stitch. Half double. Then the next stitch will be a slip stitch. And again, keep rotating. Half double. Slip stitch. Half double. Slip stitch. Half double. Slip stitch and a half double. Make sure you go into the full stitch. Okay. Turn your work. And since we ended on a half double, we're going to start with a slip stitch so there's no chaining. You just go in your first stitch and your slip stitch. Now I'm going to do this real quietly. The next stitch will be half double and I'll keep rotating.
So, chain two and return. Start with a half a double. Seven, eight, and it'll be nine for me. Now, that is all this is, is just rotating, starting with a slip stitch and starting with a half double. What you will notice is as you're doing this, half doubles leave these um, diagonal stitches on the outside. That's what makes this very textured. So when you're working on your, your project yourself, if you think you've lost count of stitches or where your stitch is, your half double versus your slip stitch, just follow that diagonal, go right up. That's your half double. So on here, this is my half double. All these are half doubles and they just stay in line with each other. How beautiful. Just put two simple stitches together and this is what you can create. Absolutely gorgeous. But again, that's all it is. It's chaining your first chain an even number and then you start with a slip stitch. Then you go to a half double. And then the next row you start with a half double and you end the row with a half double. That's all this is. And it's gorgeous. And I just had to dive into this one for Texture Tuesday because it fits it so well. And it's a stitch that just isn't really discussed and you don't see a lot of it out there. But it's gorgeous. Anyway, I appreciate you watching this video for Texture Tuesday. And I... I love the fact that we're doing all these videos and we're getting so many people enjoying them. So if you haven't already, can you please hit that like button down at the bottom and the subscribe button and come find us on Facebook under Whip for Work in Progress and Chain. And join our group. We would love to see you there. Until next time, everybody, happy crocheting and happy Mother's Day. Bye-bye.